Today we're talking power naps. Should they become legit? After lunch, when you're a bit heavy. When your eyes are closing and you're, and, and you're falling asleep at your desk, it's, it's painful. You go to the couch, you grab your pillow, and the guilt will come. I would feel guilty. I would feel a little bit guilty. <laughs> Sometimes it just happens, you just take a nap. Now, if you've ever worked in a high-tech company, you know they have these bizarre little perks to raise employee retention. These are two power nap capsules that we have in our offices. These capsules are state-of-the-art. They have a controlled temperature, soft lights, and fresh linen. Perfect, right? I never took naps during work at the office. I didn't try the sleeping pods here. I don't think I'd feel comfortable. Science is pretty unanimous about this. 20-minute power naps are great for you. They can help us feel more awake after, more energetic, feel more motivated. They could, in addition, improve accuracy and speed on a number of cognitive tasks and executive functions, such as attention and emotion processing. But why read serious studies when you can conduct your own experiment? About to go down for my first nap. Day two of the nap challenge. So we took two employees and asked them to find time to power nap every day. And although this is not scientific in any way, results are fascinating. All right, that concludes my first nap. Um, did not fall asleep. Actually, I really couldn't sleep. I feel like my mind was just so focused on work today. It's nap time again. I have a wedding later, so right now I'm very pumped and not tired at all. We'll see how that affects me. Um, I slept for about 20 minutes, and right now I feel great. So let's just see how the rest of the day goes and see how I feel. Here are two important rules. One, don't sleep more than 30 minutes, otherwise you wake up disoriented and groggy. I am so tired. That was the worst idea ever to take a nap. Uh, I'm not even excited for the wedding anymore. Don't sleep after three o'clock or you'll turn into a gremlin. That's not true, but you will have trouble falling asleep at night. As we enter the second stage of sleep, also known as light sleep, our brain activity is reduced, our body temperature lowers, heart rate slows, and our muscles become more relaxed. Those allow our mind and body to have a short opportunity to actually recharge. Okay, so nap time is over, which means it's time to go back to work. Hopefully no one sees me coming out of these doors, so I don't have to explain. Should power naps be more socially acceptable? If you'd say, I, I need a break, I'm gonna go for a walk for like 20 minutes, sure. Make the dumb coffee. So, you know, why can't we have that approach to napping? I think we should like, take away the stigma. Naps should be the most acceptable thing. If babies can do it and grandparents can do it, why can't people in their 20s to 60s do it? Tell us what you think. Do you want to join our struggle to free power nappers around the globe? Or do you think they're a disgrace? I really want to know what you think, so be honest and let us know below. In the meantime, like and subscribe, and I am going to do a fix.